I woke up and I was in Petra. Um, so we got up at 5 o'clock this morning, uh, met Naila's brother at Dubai Airport to come to Jordan for their youngest sister's wedding. Um, that is technically on Saturday, uh, so we took advantage and decided to come out to Petra and see what I think is called the Lost City. The entrance is over there, uh, so we're staying at a hotel that's pretty close. Uh, I'm going to go check the sites. Our uh, tour guide arrives at the hotel at 3 and we'll take us through. They've recommended we don't go now because it's apparently too hot. Um, having come from Dubai where it's 46 degrees and Petra, which seems to be a nice, you know, 35, it's not really that bad. Um, anyway, we'll check you guys out later. So we're gonna see from, we're gonna see the royal tomb and the, the Roman city. Okay. We're gonna see the daughter palace or castle then. As you can see behind me, uh, this is basically where the burial, not the burial, the funeral ceremony of uh, sending someone uh, to their afterlife. On the right side, the, the wife of the guy would sit and uh, do the condolences while he is preparing for the afterlife. Okay, so, long story short, they take the body and then it goes all the way up for the final uh, resurrection where he meets God. Basically what uh, Rizq told me just now, you see the stone behind me? It's a god. There are so many hundreds of gods. And that's a god of traveling. So let's travel. So you see other gods. God of money, god of marriage, which my brother's going to stay away from. God of uh, good fortune, god the of BS. So there's hundreds and hundreds of gods. But one thing, let's walk and talk. So one thing I want to tell you that the first people who came here were the... Oh, Nabatihin. Uh, Nabatihin. Then the Romans took over, as they took over everywhere else. And then after the Romans came the Byzantine, the Byzantine era. So all of these people actually lived here. And that's why you will see touches here and there of um, their style of carving and, what, uh, and so forth. As you can see ahead of us, this is the treasury. Probably the most prominent and famous spot here in Petra, which if you get a chance, uh, it will absolutely blow your mind. All of this was handmade, carved within the mountain itself. And if you see, they start from the top all the way to the bottom. The columns correspond to uh, the yearly calendar. So looking all the way to the right, that's January, for example, and those carvings of squares right beneath the uh, above the column those are like the actual days of the year so 365 days um, they also thought that there was gold way on the top there so they would like start poking it and, and firing as uh, firing ammunition or whatever they can on it they didn't have ammunition back then but they, they start carving it they thought there would be gold in it and there was nothing there but after a recent 15 years excavation they found underground uh, a room with lots and lots of gold. So this amphitheater uh, took 7,000 people, not just people, only men. So imagine 7,000 men behind me. Honestly, it's, it's immaculate in Petra. Um, I would suggest anyone that comes to Jordan, you do need to spend the day here. Um, it's really easy to access, easy to walk around. Um, I would, however, recommend, because most people haven't, is to get a really good tour guide to explain some of the actual uh, sites to you and some of the history to you because I think you'll appreciate it a lot more. Um, and for those of you who are Swiss, this was actually discovered uh, by a Swiss citizen back in the 1800s who introduced Petra to Europeans. Uh, it's interesting stuff.